Hi, my name is Dr. Doug Brown. I'm an academic program manager for the MBA program at the Malcolm Baldridge School of Business at Post University. This is one in a series of short videos designed to help our capstone students select a proper capstone topic. Our agenda for the next few minutes is to review each of the 10 program outcomes that we as program faculty have identified uh, for graduates of our program. These are the 10 things we look at in answer to the question of what do people really learn in the post-university MBA program. This is important because the capstone project is ultimately a test and we'll be looking for you as students to demonstrate uh, the ability to um, to have done, be able to do the things you're going to read or see in the outcomes here in a couple minutes. Now, just a word on outcomes. We're not expecting you in the capstone uh, pro project to have uh, um, demonstrated every single one within the project. But one of the challenges people have had with capstone is taking this applied idea and merging the academic concepts and proving what they've learned. So hopefully, this connection to the capstone uh, outcomes will be helpful for you. Uh, this is a good program for you if you're in Business 698 week one or week two trying to figure out what I want to do for a capstone topic. So let's go through the outcomes. We expect that MBA graduates will ap apply principles and creativity to either a for-profit or a not-for-profit organization. Now that could be a business, it could be a company, could be a community organization, but the idea is bringing creativity and innovation in. That's what we expect our MBA graduates to have. We know that you will, all the MBA students have lots of good ideas, and we want you to identify, analyze, and evaluate research-based business practices. So if it doesn't mean it has to, it can't be a new idea, but there's got to be some research to support why you think it would work. Those, that's a key skill for the MBA. Uh, graduates. The third one is being able to develop your own vision and leadership approach and to do that based on the general theories, principles, and the knowledge that you get in your concentration in the program. So the key here is the vision and leadership approach and how do you bring that to your project. We expect MBA graduates to be able to lead um, the transformation or creation of a venture, an organization, or of a community. We expect that MBA graduates will have the ability to adapt and change. Again, the theme here is <clears throat> demonstrating the ability to do that, um, but using market analysis and business planning tools, adapting and changing with principle. We know as MBA graduates, soon to be graduates, uh, you're gonna have to solve complex business challenges. So we look for and uh, believe we've We've taught you how to identify, integrate, and synthesize concepts to create solutions to business challenges. <clears throat> um, this number seven is about new ventures, products, and services. When you think about new ventures, products, and services, are you responding to a market or an organizational need? And again, how would you prove that? Which ties into number eight. This is a about using decision tools, planning models, business cases, and financial tools. <clears throat> we are a Masters of Business Administration program, and so measurement is critical. So make sure that uh, whatever you're doing, you'll be able to identify, analyze, and evaluate the right decision tools. Within the concept of your capstone, that's really about picking the right tools. We see many students who go through and haven't really thought about measurements until the end, and finance. And remember that no business or organization makes a decision without some idea of what the current state is and what the future state is going to be and the ability to measure that. The last two um, is about ethical and professional behaviors. Um, I think that in the context of Capstone, we evaluate that with how you're communicating, with how you're participating in the class discussion boards, and generally how you're putting your ideas across. And that goes into number 10 too. Communicate professionally using graduate level written and oral skills. Um, one of the things you're gonna to have to do in Capstone is do an outline, and we'll talk about that in another program. Um, but making sure that everything you do is communicating professionally. And part of that 
is avoiding hyperbole and making sure that when you're making statements that they're supported with facts and logical arguments. And we'll talk more about that uh, when you get into the course. So those are the 10 program outcomes. Uh, consider that as you develop your topic in your outline in Capstone Business 698. This is Dr. Doug Brown for the Malcolm Baldridge School of Business. And uh, for the record, this is recorded and as is current as of October 2012. I wish you the best of luck and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.